by. Here's what you've all been waiting for. This is the advertisement in a magazine. I think of this General Economics, one of those magazines I got several years ago. And the red arrow is mine. It's pointing to LSU Health Sciences Center. And that's because Ray Yuckman, Jerry Evans, and Bob Carr are all faculty members there until Karina, the hurricane, and now Yuckman has moved on to uh, Colorado. This was a poster presentation at the uh, International Association for Dental Research, IEDR, in March 2004. Now, you've seen that before. And what they did, right down here, it says proof of principle a favorable biologic healing using LANAP protocol. Proof of principle. Well, LSU, somebody ratted on them to LSU and said, are you guys endorsing this? Because it's got your logo on it up there. It says LSU. And they said, by no uncertain means are we not endorsing this. And they asked, either politely or not so politely, I don't know how it was done, that Millennium removed that LSU from the poster presentation. And they substituted a picture of their laser there and continued then to use this in their advertisements. And here again, it says, proof of principle of favor of logic healing using LANAP protocol. And they give the data and they got some histologic sections there. Now, this is 2004. And Ray Yuckin has been presenting this at every perio meeting since that time. I am so sick and tired of seeing that I could scream. But they keep asking him back, and he keeps giving the same talk. And Ray and I know each other. I wouldn't say we're the best friends, but we're ta we tolerate one another in a very amicable way. And we were on the program together in October in Washington, D.C., and he presented this yet again, and somebody in the audience stood up and asked me what I thought of it. Talk about putting you on the spot in front of 2,000 people. My answer was, well, I've seen what he presented, and on one of those, maybe two of them, there is regeneration of the tissue. It's six teeth. It's not 60, it's not 600, it's not even 12 or 18, it's six teeth. And on those six teeth, he even got a variable result. Two of them had complete regeneration of the periodontion, the other two had partial. So it's not consistent even in six teeth. Now, if you want to go out and spend $70,000 or whatever it is on the basis of six teeth, be my guest. I don't care. Millennium would love for you to do that. And they're wise to love you for doing that. But guys, let's use some logic here. Six teeth for $70,000 investment? I don't think so. Not in my household. And they're still using that histology in later advertisements. And here they talk about a 510K clearance. And that's juxtaposed right under this statement about cementum mediated periodontal ligament due attachment to the root surface. Now, does that imply that the FDA approved this result as a therapeutic result? Is that what that means in your mind? Here again, you see that same thing. Well, they finally got this printed. They got it in the uh, International Journal of Paradigms Restorative Dentistry, and amongst paradigms, they call this the color book because they've got beautiful, everything in there is in color. Uh, and as it's common knowledge, Jerry Nevins, uh, no, it's Jerry Kramer and Myron Nevins used to be the, the uh, editors of this. I think uh, Myron's son has taken it over now. But at any rate, they made no bones about it. They only, present, they only publish positive results in this journal. They will not publish anything that is negative. Well, right there, you got a little bit of a bias problem. But in this article, it's, the statement is made that this represents the fourth largest prospective calibrated blinded human histologic study with a control group in the periodontal literature. Now, I have to think that they meant laser study. 
because this certainly is not the fourth largest if you are talking about all the bone graft studies that have been done for the last hundred years. In fact, it probably doesn't even rank in the top three, or our top 300, rather, in that respect. There are studies out there that have tons of histology associated with it. So I think somebody dropped a word there. Had to. This study consisted of six patients. Each patient donated one control tooth and one test tooth. They examined only three seven millimeter sections, histologic sections per tooth. I left out the word section there. I, I went back, back and edited this last night and after three glasses of uh, Pinot Noir and it's not a good idea. Uh, <coughs> But, and I'll show this to you in a minute, but it was three sections, histologic sections per tooth. That's what they based their results on, three sections. 21 total microns of tissue. The histologist was blinded, it says so in, in the, uh, and I know that for a fact, he was. He was the oral pathologist, uh, Carr. But nowhere in the paper does it mention anybody being calibrated. So I'm not sure what they mean up here when I couldn't find it in the article. It is a proof of principle study, but nowhere in the article did I remember reading that they stated that, that it is on their poster board presentation. And they do mention 510K FDA approval. Now, 510 FDA approval, in this case, means that it is a quote, equivalent approval. And they're approving that the Millennium Laser was approved, was approved by the FDA for use in the manner of their protocol. They're not saying that it is therapeutically beneficial. The laser is already on the market. They have a protocol for the use of that laser, and that is, they have approved the laser to be used in that manner. That's all that means. It does not imply therapeutic equivalency or superiority. In fact, they didn't even have to present the clinical trial data to gain that approval. They presented these six T's. Now, you stop and think about somebody, I keep mentioning an arrest, and I, I guess that's because they used to pay me some money once in a while. I'll admit it. I'm a whore. Uh, <clears throat> So you stop and think about all these drug trials that have been done under the FDA. Hundreds and hundreds and sometimes thousands of patients involved. Millions of dollars to prove that something works. The rest of them did that. They spent like six million dollars on a couple of clinical trials around the country, five different sites, involving about 600 patients. These guys are not going to do that. That's a lot of money, and they can sell their laser without doing that. But it does not imply a 510K is an equivalency for an instrument. It does not imply therapeutic equivalency or superiority. This is the histology from Yuckman's paper that's in the picture book. Now, I'm a trained histologist. I've been doing histology since 1971. I've looked at more human histology than I would care to admit to. It just tells you how old I am. I look at this, and what I see here is what appears to be very early cementum formation that has separated from the root due to the histologic section. It's a very weak junction, so it would separate. And there is some perpendicular fiber attachment there. And, and that's what Ray sees also. So we agree. Now, on the other hand, I look at this, and I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. I can't tell. This is epithelium up here. I can't tell if this long junctional epithelium is that new cementum forming. I just can't tell. There's not enough there for me to tell. So I began to wonder about this, and we have at our place 
Simon McNeil, who's director of our grad program, and he trained under Ray at LSU. So I said, Simon, you know Jerry Evans, right? He said, yeah. I said, write to him. Find out what they did exactly in the materials and methods section here to examine those sections. I said, I've read it, and it doesn't make sense to me. 